Hi, this is Ron Watts. I'm going to cram a lot of stuff at you awfully fast here. This LED projector, it's a great little projector. It comes in this little box. And I've got it set up right here. You can see it set up behind me. That's the projector. Now, this guy's got a screw in the bottom of it so you can attach it to a tripod. And that's what I got. That's a camera tripod that's holding this guy up. Uh, he's got adjustments on the uh, lenses here. I want to show you this. He can do the, you can, if you, you can do the, the convergence there where it's drifting uh, the bottoms wider, top narrower, stuff like that. You can get all that stuff adjusted. And then you got a focus adjustment on the thing. And on the side over here, there's a USB port. There's one USB port that you can use to charge something. There's another USB port you can plug something in. Now the one thing that you're going to find out you're going to need to have because this guy is going to need a keyboard to control it. He has an honest-to-God browser in here. It's a network browser. You can use his network browser to get to YouTube, to Netflix, to anything. I mean, you set this thing up to go in your Wi-Fi network, and it just works. But, of course, the first thing you want to do is enter your passcode for the Wi-Fi network. You cannot do that without a keyboard. So you can either plug in a USB keyboard into this guy, which is one way of doing it, and then you can try to use the this little control here, but there's not many controls on it, and every time you're going to want to do something, you're going to need a keyboard. I happen to have gotten one of these. It's really handy. It's available on Amazon. I'll show you, I'll tell you about that in the text part of it. Anyway, as you can see up here, I've got, uh, uh, there's the browser, the settings, gallery, you know, here's the browser right here. I'll just go ahead and, and uh, open that up for you, and there you can see it comes right up and Google, you know, ta -da, you can do all sorts of different stuff for it. And then there's an escape key, get you back out to the main menu. You just use that little E key there, it works great. Um, oh, and uh, you can come down here uh, and then go to the next, uh, oh, there's an SD card. Now in the SD card, I've got samples of different types of, uh, of movies, and I'll just show you here. Uh, We'll do, uh, let's do a page down here. Yeah, let's get into video. Okay. Uh, we'll use the Kodi player. Alrighty. The Kodi player pops up, and it plays just about everything. I mean, I haven't found anything it doesn't play yet. It plays AVI files, plays MP4 files, plays M4V files, plays WMV files, plays dot mov movie files that's the apple kind of file uh it's just got all of that stuff in there it's just freaking dazzling it's amazing so here we can go into videos uh we can go into uh let's get out of this because i got to get back to the uh i was going to show you some other stuff here besides just these files here now I'm going to go to the next page. The way you go to the next page, you go to the last item on that page and then hit the forward key and then you go to the next page. And that key is also available on here, by the way. You can use the OK key, you know, the forward and back stuff. That's the way you get to that. But here you've got YouTube. So there's YouTube. We'll just pop that one up. Show you that YouTube is on there. You can just select anything. doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll just select one of them. Ah, uh, okay, let's do this one here, okay, and, uh, okay, oh, I guess I don't want to do that one after all, escape that, back to the E code, okay, get it in Netflix, that's, wish I had all this thing, I could just do it really fast, but I got to pound around a little bit because I'm still getting my feet wet. Now that's cute animals there. We can play that one and we go back out of that. Doggone it. Get out of that. Get out of there. There we go. I can just play this one to use the trackpad in here. You use a trackpad or a mouse. You know, and this has got a trackpad built into this little tool. Try touch him. You can see the video works just dandy. I mean, <laughs> you can get in any kind of reasonably dark room, cover the whole wall with, a, with something, and just watch it. I mean, it's just really cool. And like I said, it's got Netflix, YouTube, uh, TV and film stuff, uh, email, Google settings, the uh, Play Store. Where you, it's an Android device, so you got Android. You can go get any kind of Android device. 
our Android uh, application here and run it on this thing. And uh, you can get to, you can play music on here. And just like I, I started to do earlier, uh, let's see, AVN. Oh, that's the audio visual in. You can uh, uh, you can have a uh, AV player like a, uh, a a DVD player that has uh, the RGB output, and you can use the cable and attach this guy to the RGB output. There's an Ethernet here, so you can just plug in Ethernet directly. You don't have to use the the Wi-Fi if you don't want to. I mean, it's just awesome. It, this is really a cool device. And combined with this guy, man, it is, it's is—it's a TV in a box. It's a little TV, except it's better than a TV because it's a web browser-based TV. And you can do anything on a regular old web browser. It's a complete media center in a box is what you got. You got a media center in a box. You can play stuff. I've plugged in an SD card that has several different file formats. And I don't have time to show you, but I played... Uh, .avi files, the .move, all the ones I told you about before. I played all of those things. They all work, and they work smoothly, and you just go through them one right after another. This thing is just fantastic. I love it. Big thumbs up.